Research out today shows that living standards as a whole may actually rise this year and just in time for an election. But the new figures also show there is a lot of ground to make up from before the pandemic and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And it will take those on lower incomes way longer to get back to where they were than the highest paid. Uh, Joel is here. Better news at last, but some certainly some thought-provoking figures. Yeah, better news in the sense that, of course, pay is rising faster than prices again as inflation fades, which means the National Institute of Economic and Social Research has calculated almost every household in Britain will start to feel better off, uh, at least marginally, during the course of this year. But you have to remember that in recent years, the economic shocks we've suffered, you've mentioned them, the war in Ukraine, the pandemic and Brexit too, have left everyone feeling poorer. And Nisa is saying that it is the poorest households in Britain that have disproportionately borne the brunt of the cost of living crisis. Disposable income is probably the, one of the best measures we've got of living standards. And if you have a look, as Nisa had, at the when you adjust it uh, for inflation, what happens? The disposable incomes of 12 million households in the lowest half of the income distribution in Britain will be up to to 20% lower this year relative to five years ago. That's a huge hit. Britain's three million poorest uh, households, those with an average income of £15,000 a year, are, wait for it, I think we can bring the animation on for you now, uh, yeah, £4,600 a year worse off. That's a huge hit. Now, by contrast, the hit to Britain's richest households, far, far smaller. Uh, I think you can see there the contrast is just £200 a year. We know that inflation hurts those on the lowest incomes the most because they tend to spend more of their money on food uh, and on things like energy. But, you know, what's clearly happening here is this divergence in people's fortunes. The budget looms in four weeks' time. The Chancellor has said that he wants to cut taxes. Nisa is saying if you have to do that, and it doesn't think the Chancellor should be, but for goodness sake, make sure that help is targeted at those who need it most. Uh, don't cut inheritance tax, don't cut income tax, because these things disproportionately benefit the wealthy.